What's going on guys, Linus here with some more Battlefield 3. This is a squat rush match that I played with Insider. Um, yeah, it's a pretty short one actually because it's a squat, um, squat game. Um, which is basically four players against another team of four players. And I was just ju jumping around a bit, I'm not sure why. Um, but I actually had the chance to play some more Battlefield, so this is, I guess, second impressions or something. Um, so far, I'm actually really liking it. It's a lot of fun, especially when playing with friends. Um, the rest of our squad left. So it's just the two of us against four other people, but we actually win in the end. Spoiler alert. <coughs> and uh, we're playing some Rush, which is basically two bomb sites that have to be destroyed or defended. And um, you get a certain number of tickets, which is right above my minimap. 20, uh, 20 tickets, and if we get killed 20 times, then we lose. That's how it works. Um... I was playing as an Assault, and Insider was playing as Support. Uh, assault is the new Medic, so you, you basically heal people, but you use Assault Rifles, it's very confusing. And um, Insider was playing Support, which is basically Medic, instead of with healing you get the ammo packs that uh, Assault had. And you have like heavy weaponry, it's, it's, it's really weird, it's very confusing. Um, but it actually works pretty well. So. Um, yeah, we were just playing with the two of us, uh, another guy just joined. Um, and like I said, it is a squad uh, um, based game. Which means that the maps are way smaller, but this is actually really awesome. Um, but you'll see that in a sec. Uh, but I actually got to play a bit more, so I thought why not give you some second impressions. Um, so far I'm really enjoying the game, there's a lot to do, a lot to unlock and stuff. So there is always an incentive to keep playing. Um, only thing that sort of bugs me is that there's a lot of, you know, little glitches around. Uh, graphical glitches, and the game doesn't feel as smooth to me as, um, Bad Company 2. And I actually just played some Bad Company 2. Um, well, it was actually a little while ago. Uh, but I was playing some Bad Company 2. And it just feels smoother and more polished, I guess, graphic graphics-wise, but also gameplay-wise, it's a bit... Um, more like Call of Duty, and this game is a bit slower, uh, if you ask me. You also need like way more bullets to kill someone, um, but it is a lot of fun. So if you are a Battlefield fan, you will love it. If you're a Call of Duty fan, you're probably not going to enjoy it that much, uh, because it's way more like Black Ops than um, like Modern Warfare 2, you know. It takes a lot of bullets to kill someone, um, but it is a lot of fun. There's, like I said, a lot of guns to unlock, and what is actually new to this game is that the more you use a certain weapon, you will unlock certain attachments for that weapon. So it's not like Call of Duty where you basically un um sorry, it's not like Bad Company 2 where you unlock like a red dot sight and you can just just attach it to every weapon. You actually need to play with like the M16 like I'm playing right now and if you get a certain amount of, of points with it, a certain score, then you unlock like a red dot sight for it and then just for this weapon. So I actually think that's great that you unlock stuff for just the one weapon instead of, you know, for everything. Um, and it will, actually, it will actually take you longer to um, to unlock everything for every weapon. By the way, we're playing with a squad of four now. A bunch of random dudes joined and Insider switched to Recon, which is the sniper, um, the sniper um, and loadout, I guess. Except that you also have a mobile spawn point. You have sort of a... Um, and what's it called? A um, tactical, tactical respawn, tactical thingy, like in um, in um, Modern Warfare, where you can actually spawn on that thing, but your whole team can spawn on it. It's a, it's a deployment um, spot, basically. And it's actually very useful, it's a lot of fun uh, to mess around with the different loadouts. And all, loadout, all the loadouts basically have their own um, good points and pros and cons and stuff. Um, so for my favorite, I'd have to say, is either Assault or um, Engineer. Engineer has always been my favorite because you have an RPG and it's just cool. Uh, you have SMGs, it, it's just a very fun class to play. Here we're just defending, I know some of you are going to leave comments like, Oh, you're camping, or someone that I know in real life is going to leave a, a comment or tell me in real life, Oh, you were, you were camping so hard here. We just planted an explosive that we had to defend. That is not camping, okay? Just stop watching right now, you. You know I'm talking about you. But, um, we destroyed the targets, and then basically you have to move towards the next target. 
Now, um, it takes a little while for it to actually tell you where to go, so you have to w wait around and try not to get killed. Uh, but this next part is actually freaking awesome. Here is Insider on the edge of a cliff. And we were looking for the next point. We were like, oh, oh, where are we supposed to go? A little bit confusing. And then um, I think Insider actually figured it out that we had to skydive to our next location. As you see right here, we actually had to jump off of this cliff and skydive towards another base. Which is awesome. Now, I deployed my parachute way too early. Uh, so I had to wait a long time before I actually hit the ground. But Insider did the full base jump. It's, it's freaking awesome. Um... And honestly, it's just a great way to make the the matches more interesting. Sort of add a little story to it, you know, like... Well, it's not really a story, but you add certain stages to the level. And that just makes it way more interesting. That you actually have to stay, um, just, like, skydive off of a cliff. That's awesome. And, um... I think it's creative stuff like that that we actually need in, um... In our Neil um, FPS games, because obviously the the FPS genre is being sort of hoard out because there's so many games right now that come out that are FPSs that are very similar. Um, you know, like obviously Call of Duty, obviously Battlefield. We have Medal of Honor and all those sorts of games. Um, we need new and creative ideas to keep this genre interesting, and I think this is a great way to do it. Um, Jeez, what else can I actually talk about? Well, the balance is actually re re really great. Like I said, every class has a main selling point. Um, I mean, obviously, Assault uh, in this game is meant as a healer. Uh, support is meant as giving suppressive fire and giving ammo. Engineer is obviously used to repair and destroy vehicles. And what else? Recon is used to... Um, well, to be recon and to snipe, uh, and not just be you know full on combat. So every every single class has its main point where it is actually what it's good at. Um, but you can mix and match. You know you can actually use. Um, you have weapons like in Bad Company 2 that you can use on every class. So you can actually be a recon player with a shotgun if you want to, or be a, a medic with a shotgun uh, or an assault in this case. So um, you can pretty much play ev any. Ev um, any sort of game you want to, um, jeez, how, how, how do I explain this? But you can you can play in your own style. This guy, this guy was just full on camping, uh, but he was defending, so I wasn't even mad. I was just like, oh, okay, that guy was defending, that's fine. Oh, and here you see uh, the dog tags. Basically, you you get to ca customize your dog tag, like you could customize your title in Modern Warfare 2. Um, it's pretty cool. You unlock new ones by getting a, s a certain number of kills or getting uh, a few ribbons. You know that sort of stuff. You should get ribbons for like. Um, planning two bombs in one game, that sort of stuff. Um, oh, I was losing, uh, leaving the combat area here. Uh, but you can actually customize that, that's a pretty fun, um, fun little, you know, thing that you can do. Um, and I think that's actually a very good, you know, inspiration they got from, um, Call of Duty, uh, the Call of Duty franchise. That you can customize your soldier, you can get, like, um, camo patterns for your, for your, your soldier. Not for your weapons, but for your soldier, so it's actually, it, it's pretty cool. Um, and there's basically all sorts of things to do, you know, keep you interested. There's, uh, like I said, ribbons, and there's all sorts of different ribbons and medals and challenges to complete. There's um, achievements, obviously, that has, have been always been um, in the games. Uh, but they are also in the online portion of the game now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, we just won the game. Like I said, we, we started out with just the two of us, and we actually won. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. If you did, then please let me know, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.